Well, I've started to apply the water lux uh, to the chest now, and um, this is after uh, two coats. The first coat just uh, goes right into the wood, and uh, you see very little accumulate. This is the second coat, and um, as you can see, most of it, this coat has already s soaked into the wood. And uh, the secret to applying water lux is applying thin coats. You don't want to put a lot of a lot of material on at, at a time. One of the uh, problems with putting on too much is that it has a tendency to pool on the edges and uh, then it gets thicker and thicker as it as it builds up and of course you don't want that. Also I uh, rub it out uh, between uh, coats with either uh, 4 aught uh, steel wool or um, I can use 400 grit uh, sandpaper on it but you have to be very careful uh, with the edges so you don't take the the uh, stain out of it uh, and end up with clear again and then you have to go back and touch it up but um, overall it's beginning to look pretty good this is uh, got two coats on uh, on that as well and uh, the top is back here with uh, with two coats on it so uh, it'll take six coats uh, at a minimum to uh, get it to where I want it to. So I've got three coats uh, on everything right at the moment and uh, I'm getting ready for the fourth coat. So I've got some uh, 400 wet or dry sandpaper here and uh, in between each coat I've been uh, sanding the uh, dust nubs off and uh, also the finish uh, seems to pool along the edges which is pretty common and, and uh, so you knock that down to make it even with the rest of it otherwise it builds up along the edges and you have to be very careful to uh, not take the stain off the edges. Uh, here, but it gets a nice and uh, flat and smooth rather uh, between the coats and uh, you don't have to do that but uh, you end up with a better finish at the end if you do uh, sand between the coats because the uh, dust nubs build up and you're doing six coats uh, probably uh, and uh, so they get harder to rub out at the end, so it doesn't take but maybe 10 minutes to just lightly go over. And then the finish, I'm, I'm waiting 24 hours between each coat, and uh, so the finish is not perfectly dry, and so it catches up in the, the wet or dry sandpaper pretty quick and uh, in corning, so you have to change a couple of times so uh, that's what we're doing and then I'll apply the fourth coat here. Well we have uh, seven coats now on the uh, drawers and the uh, top and the chest so I think that's about it. Um, it looks pretty good to me at this point and uh, we'll swing over here to the to the chest but uh, as you can see it's pretty shiny which um, will later dull down a bit um, with uh, steel wool but uh, at this point the uh, water lux has to cure which is uh, at least a week so uh, this probably why it's not used by uh, very many professionals because uh, the cure time and the total time to apply this is uh, really really quite long so um, I'm happy with the color and the and the finish so far so I've got uh, seven coats of water lux on the uh, chest now and uh, as you can see I think it's got more than enough uh, film finish on it so uh, it's of course uh, much too shiny uh, for my taste anyway uh, so I've got to wait now for a week uh, at least uh, for this to cure and then I'll rub it out uh,
with steel wool and uh, and wax it but I just thought I'd let you take a look at it at this point and uh, it's come out pretty good and I don't have the drawer slid in all the way because I don't want them to stick uh, but it looks like the finishing's about done.